Today, July 24, 2018, Apple released a patch to take care, as we were predicting, to take care of the thermal management issues 2018 MacBook Pros had. And now, this top of the line 2018 MacBook Pro not only performs as it should, it actually performs better. To be able to compare how much the performance has changed, I performed exactly the same tests from my last video. One, two, three. I rendered 12 minute 4K 100 megabits per second 30 frames per second video on Final Cut Pro 10. Before the update 2018 MacBook Pro finished this task in 23 minutes and 42 seconds. After the update, 18 minutes and 38 seconds. 5 minutes and 18 seconds faster. During this first test what I realized was the MacBook Pro was behaving much better. The fans and the CPU was in a better harmony. Before it was more like a Tom and Jerry chase scene. One, two, three. And then I tried my Max Fan trick where I run this app called Max Fan Control and spin the fans as hard as they can to keep the MacBook Pro as cool as possible so that it performs as good as it can so then the job gets done as soon as possible. Yeah. MacBook Pro finished rendering in 14 minutes and 30 seconds which is 30 seconds faster than before. One. Two, three. When it comes to exporting the project to a 49GB ProRes 422 file, MacBook Pro finished the job in 2 minutes and 52 seconds, which is 20 seconds faster than before. When it comes to the stabilization test, MacBook Pro performed 7 seconds better. I like to mention that these times include the rendering process done after the stabilization as well. When it comes to motion tracking test, MacBook Pro performed exactly the same. Which is 3 minutes and 42 seconds. When it comes to compressor, MacBook Pro finished the task in 19 minutes and 20 seconds, which is 7 seconds slower than the previous test. Ooh, does that mean we should start using the compressor gate hashtags now? No. It is really difficult to create exactly the same scenario where you can test these devices in exactly the same way because a lot of things change and that there are a lot of variables so don't panic about that seven second difference now all these news are fantastic but how about the biggest problem adobe premiere let alone exporting slower than my 2017 macbook pro this macbook actually got drained the battery went down to 99 percent and 98 percent at one point even though it was connected to power one two now, after the update, without any power draining, Adobe Premiere exported the 4K file in 5 minutes and 55 seconds. This is 3 minutes and 19 seconds faster than before. And when I did the max fan trick, it exported the file in 5 minutes and 45 seconds. The fact that there isn't a very big difference between using the maximum fan speed and the way this computer runs tells me that it is running at its optimal performance without annoying you with a lot of fan noise but also performing really well. Before we talk about Fortnite, I'd like to point out that in my previous video I ran Fortnite in a windowed setup just to make things harder for the MacBook Pro. It wasn't about how Fortnite runs because when you run it in full screen it performs much better but to make it difficult for this guy so we see all the performance spikes that were happening. Now after the update when I ran Fortnite in the windowed setup and the game demands resources MacBook Pro throttles the CPU gently and performs a soft landing. 
this is much better than those crazy spikes caused by that missing digital key in the firmware that impacted the thermal management system. And of course, if you like to play Fortnite on your MacBook Pro, no one is judging you. No, no one is judging you. Yeah, you can do it. You, you do you, man. You do you. You play Fortnite on your MacBook Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not. We're not judging you. When I run this game in full screen mode, it gave me 50 to 60 frames per second gameplay. I played Fortnite for a while and I had a lot of fun. Wait, did I just say Fortnite is fun? I meant Fortnite is as much a fun game as Beats are good headphones. But before I finish this video, I'd like to talk about something. This last week has been amazing. The communication between all of us trying to figure out what was going on, how it was happening, why it was happening, what we can do to prevent it has been amazing. Everyone was in touch, not just us, but also right after my video was online, I got connected by Adobe and everyone's approach to this was to understand what was happening and to solve it, which is something very important for all of us. Because in the end, no one wants to sell you a computer or a software that really doesn't work. And it seems as long as we put these devices under microscope and see what they can do or what they cannot do, in the end, all of us will win. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope this is the last MacBook Pro heat related video. Please let me know what you think about what happened in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşçakalın.